You know, one of the things that I've learned um, is that you can't always power fish. You know, you've got to have some follow-up baits. And, you know, for me, I've used a lot of different finesse baits over the year to do that. You know, you can use a soft plastic jerk bait. Uh, I use a tube a lot coming from the north. A drop shot's one of my favorites. But something that I've been playing with and having a lot of success with is nail weighting soft plastics. And, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, a lot of different ways you can fish it and it just gives it such a unique action and fall that you really have to see it to believe it. So, you know, a wacky worm is something that's really hard to beat. You know, when you drop that, uh, like an ocho like this down there, it's basically gonna fall horizontally and it's gonna do it at a real slow pace. Um, if you take some of these nail weights, and I've got, you know, different ones, I've got some little tungsten ones, you know, and they, and they make all different sizes. You can get a pair of side cutters and, and, and clip them down if you'd like to. The tungsten um, nails are really nice because they're really heavy for their small size, um, and so they can add a lot of weight. But you can take, a, you know, a 330 seconds uh, tungsten and fish that thing in 30 foot of water if you want, wacky rig. So it, when you when you put it in the head of that worm, it's going to make it sink real fast, and then depending on where you put your hook, it's really going to change the action of that. You know, there's also these lead nails, and the nice advantage about having some of these lead nails or even just a penny nail you'd get at the hardware store, is you can just take a pair of your pliers or side cutters and clip it down to whatever size you need for a weight. But typically what I do is what I want to start with is I'm going to put that right into the, you know, into the head of that worm, and then I'm going to uh, rig my, my hook down here in the middle. I get that in there so it's all the way in there. And what happens is when you cast that out there, it's going to fall on a slack line straight down, just like it was a, you know, a slip sinker on the front, just straight to the bottom like that. But having that hook in the middle, every time you hop it up, it's, it's like this wacky rigged, and then it's going to fall again straight back down. So believe it or not, it's, it's a finesse bait that you can fish really, really fast. And just because of the unique extra action that it's added to it, uh, it catches a ton of fish. If I got, you know, clean bottom areas and that, like, you know, ledges and things like that, uh, gravel points, rock points, I'll just use an, an exposed, um, you know, beak style hook on there and, and, and run it like that. If you're fishing brush piles or grass or things like that, you can Texas rig it just like you normally would, either uh, right in the head of the bait or in the tail of the bait or even halfway down and then put your nail in, in one end or the other. So it gives you a lot of rigging options. But the neat thing about it is, is it just has such tremendous action that you just can't get out of any other rigging style. It's very, very versatile, very efficient, very effective, and it you know does the same type of job as say a drop shot rig or just a shaky head or a finesse worm. It's a it's a deadly uh, technique, and I haven't mastered it by any means. But I can tell you this: I've seen enough with it to know that it's something I'm always going to have tied on in my tackle box. Give it a try. I think you'll be really impressed.